All right, so I want to share with you guys a story about something that happened to me like a long time ago, man. And you know, I just thought about it right now because me and my cousin Carlos were playing some online games and you know, we started talking about like our childhood and stuff like that. And it's just a silly little story that happened. And yeah, I want to tell you guys about it and just share it with you guys. So, all right, back in the day, man, you know, elementary, I was like about, it was about fifth grade, you know, fifth grade, I was like, what, eight, eight, nine, ten 10 years old, around that age, you know, still pretty young. And and during that time pokemon pokemon red and blue were like popping they were like the most popular games to have you know it was like hype everybody and their mom had that game except me i didn't have that game now you know back then i didn't really um have that many friends or i didn't really have any friends at all because you know i was a quiet shy kid i didn't really have any friends but i did have like this one friend his name was james um he was the only guy i talked to you know he was the only guy that would talk to me in class and you know he was like my only friend like in the whole school so anyway um one day um you know i was hanging out with my cousin carlos and he had pokemon red and me and him would share it you know he'll pass me his game boy i'll pass it back and we'll be sharing it and then when i went to class i would meet up with james and james would bring his game boy to class and he also had pokemon red so you know one day i asked james like hey can i borrow your pokemon red for like a day because i want to go play with my cousin carlos you know i want to go over to his house i want to link battle and you know play together you know because we wanted to do like a you know battle like on the game boys you know james is like yeah that's cool you know just bring it back tomorrow so anyway he gave me the game I went home I played it on my Game Boy for a little while because I didn't have my own personal you know Pokemon game so I was playing it for a little while and then my parents took me to Carlos's house and when we got there I told Carlos like yo um, I borrowed a Pokemon Red let's play together so Carlos went to go get his Game Boy and while I was looking for it I couldn't find it I'm like where did it go like I know I had it in my pocket I had my Game Boy but I didn't have the Pokemon Red I'm like where did it go man where did it go so I searched my pockets Carlos brought out his Game Boy and his Pokemon Red and he's like so where's your game man I'm like dude I don't know I think I left it in the car so I went to the car I searched wasn't there it was gone so I thought maybe I left it back home I went back home wasn't there I came back to Carlos's house looked everywhere it wasn't there so I'm like I, I don't know what happened to it man I honestly don't know what happened to it even today like I still have no idea what happened to that game so anyway I went back to school and James said like oh did you bring my game and I'm like no I forgot it man he's like oh that's cool you know just bring it back tomorrow but another tomorrow came and then another day and I'm like no I forgot it I forgot it I forgot it. like I, I, I kept saying like I forgot it you know and because I wanted to look for it like I wanted to find it and bring it back to him but I couldn't find it so I would go home and search for it every day. Eventually, James started saying like, yo, you gotta bring my game back, dude. My mom is getting really pissed at me. Like, she's getting really upset, you know, like that that I, that I don't have my game, you know? And I'm like, dude, I'll try and bring it back tomorrow. Like, I, like I promise, you know? And I looked for it, man, but I couldn't find it. So, I started to feel very, very bad, you know, because he's like my only friend in the school. And, you know, but it was already towards like the end of the school year. So we only had like two days of school left or like, you know, yeah, like two days of school left. And, and I wasn't really feeling very bad. And I just wanted to get out of that, you know, feeling bad situation. So I'm like, yeah, for sure. I'll bring it back tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's the last day of school. For sure. I'll bring it, you know, I didn't bring it. I tried avoiding him, you know, because I felt so bad. And then he's like, um, after school, he said he wanted to go with me home to, you know, help me search for it and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, dude, you could come with me to my house. So we walked together, you know back to my house and then I kind of like we got to the park and I'm like hey actually you know uh, um, I don't know what I said I'm like actually um, why don't I come to your house or you know you give me your phone number or something like that and I'll call you once I find the game and I'll bring it to you back to this park and he's like okay that's fine and he gave me his house phone number or whatever and you know because I didn't want to take him back to my house because I, I would have felt like like I just wanted to get out of that situation man you know I'm a little nine year old ten year old or whatever and I just felt so bad I didn't want to take him back to my house you know I just felt so bad so I just got his number and I just went home and i'm like dude the school year is over the school semester is over the school year is over i don't have to deal with that i, I can stop feeling bad whatever you know so i went home big sigh of relief i don't have to deal with him or like talking with him or him asking me like hey where's my game my mom's getting mad but anyway so i went home big sigh of relief all right <laughs> half an hour later knock 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 bump 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 my parents they go open the door and who's at the door cops two cops both cops started asking for me you know my parents are kind of like what the fuck is going on you know why are they asking for a nine-year-old kiko you know so uh, they call my name and they're like yo kiko what's going on why are there two why are there two cops looking for you uh, so i went to the door and um the cops are pretty much said like um do you have like this kid james like you know your, your friend james i'm like yeah they're like do you have his game because you know his, his mom is really upset and she would really like the game back and, like i was already like i'm like fuck but i didn't think i was gonna get in trouble dude like come on man um, so my parents are like, yo, what are they talking about? I'm like, 
I borrowed I borrowed a game and I lost it. And I told the cops like I lost it. Like I looked everywhere for it. I couldn't find it. I have I have no idea what happened to it. Like I prom like I, I looked everywhere for it. I promise, you know. And I was freaking out. My parents were freaking out. So the cops are like, all right, we'll be back in an hour. Um, you know, look for it. And yeah, we'll be back in an hour. All right. Um, just try and find it. You know. So the cops left and they said they were gonna be back in an hour. Uh, my parents are like, where the fuck is that game? You know. Like we don't want to get in trouble. Where did you leave the game? And I'm like, yo, I, I, like I searched everywhere for it. I like I've been searching everywhere for for like a week two weeks i have no idea where it is i think i possibly left it at carlos's house uh, my cousin carlos's because that's like, like the last time i saw it is like me taking it to his house you know so my parents they drove me to my cousin's house and you know they went over there um they told my cousin's mom like yeah we're looking for this game this pokemon red or whatever um because the cops came looking for it uh, so carlos my cousin you know we're the same age he's looking at me kind of confused like yo what's going on so his parents told him like yo go get that pokemon red go get the pokemon red game pretty much um, I don't know what happened to mine and Carlos was forced to go get his copy of the game his game So, you know, he went to his room He came back out, you know with his head down kind of sad and just kind of like handed it to like my parents You know like all sad and stuff and dude I felt very bad dude cuz that's his game now nah, It wasn't James's game. It was his game, you know, and like I felt very very bad and um, So anyway, um, you know Carlos, you know, he handed my parents the game, you know, whatever gave me the game And he, he was like really sad like he was confused. He didn't know, he didn't know what was going on man <laughs> Um, yeah, so anyway, um, we took uh, my cousin Carlos's copy of the game. Um, we went back to my house. Yeah, the police came back like like they said, like in an hour. And we just gave them the copy of the Pokemon Red, uh, my cousin's copy. We just gave it to them and yeah, that's it. They left and that was all over, man. Done. That's the story. There's nothing else to it. The following school year, you know, I saw James again, but we weren't friends anymore. Like I didn't want to talk to that guy. Like I, as a little nine year old, I'm like, fuck that guy, man. Like why is he calling the cops on me? And why is his mom being so dramatic? Like, come on. Dude. but moral of the story man there is no moral because in this whole story there's one equation that makes sense and what makes sense to everybody i am a dick man even though i was a shy kid i like i am a dick man like come on dude like that's that's pretty much the sum of the story is like yo kiko you're a dick dude first of all you lose some guy's game and then you make your cousin like give his game to that guy come on dude like kiko come on dude <laughs> and you know me and my cousin Carlos we were playing some games right now and I brought up that story you know I asked him if he remembered and he said he had no idea like like he forgot about that you know this was a long time ago and, and he forgot about it and I forgot about it until like um, we started talking about like our childhood and what kind of games we played when we were younger just something that kind of you know brought back memories just wanted to share with everybody out there you know Pokemon was a serious thing back there and you know people have a passion for it right <laughs> No, but anyway, um, yeah, I just want to share that with you guys. You know, let me know what your thoughts are about that story. You know, uh, drop a comment, drop a like. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.